Un saluto a tutti e bentornati su Zenat Factor. Eccoci su The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Siamo pronti a parlare con Yennefer e le altre maghe della loggia per gli ultimi preparativi prima della battaglia finale con la caccia selvaggia. Adesso qua ci siamo andati bloccati, siamo da dietro. Che è successo? Nothing just yet, but something's afoot. Philippa and Margarita want to speak to me. They say about what? No, but I have my suspicions. I bet they have plans for me. And they're deigning to inform me of them. Ah, then. Damn it. The conversation you're likely to avoid. I'll go with you if you want. They'll weigh their words more carefully with you there. Wouldn't be so sure. But two heads are better than one. Let's get this over with. You wish to speak? To you, not to Geralt. Geralt stays or we both leave. Let him stay, Phil. He'd learn of it all anyways, eventually. <clears throat> Fine then. So long as he does not interrupt. Think of me as part of the decor. <laughs> the Lodge once had great plans for you. Important plans. Surely you remember. You were to complete your studies and become one of us. Unfortunately, that did not come to pass. We intend to revive the Lodge, and we renew our offer. You must join us. As before, and to marry some princeling and become your puppet. You were a child then, and we misjudged the situation. This time we offer you a partnership. Uh, no equality in the lodge? That's garbage. Some have always taken the reins, while others politely nodded. A wise and capable sorceress finds the role, the position that best suits her. And yours should be supreme. You deserve to lead. Realize, please, that you were made for great things. Work with us and you shall achieve them. Just as soon as we teach you to control your power, channel... I have Avalarch for that. You allow this. Do you truly believe his intentions are pure? I don't trust him, I don't trust you. But that doesn't matter. Siri decides. Sages invariably have hidden agendas. Altruism is simply not part of their constitution. You're a tool in his hands, even if you don't see it. We will assure you knowledge and protection, but you shall be your own rudder, captain, and ship. And unlike Avalach, we can promise you this. We don't expect you to commit now. Think it over, what you've heard, what you feel. We will speak when you're ready. If that is all, then... We need to go to Skellige, find the Sunstone. Avalach awaits down at the port. So? I don't know. Don't really want to talk about it. I'm going for a walk. Help protect Ciri from the Wild Hunt, and the Emperor will grant you amnesty. I hope we can trust you. You can. What a Fringilla. That I don't know, but I shall take it up with him. You barely said hello, and you're already plotting something. It's clearly in our nature. Bit about Frangilla. What was that? 
Empress told me you couldn't contact her. Perhaps because she sits in the Emperor's dungeon, chained in Dimeritium. At least that's what Rita implied. Hmm. Take it the Emperor forgot to tell you about this. I don't like it. That was not our deal. When it's all over, I'll need to have a candid discussion with the Emperor. Come. They're all waiting for us. Beh, non sono nave. Parliamo per scrivere. Lucky, Mr. Fancy Pants! All are present. You were the last to arrive. Might we set sail? Anchors away. Probabilmente sarà l'ultimo viaggio, ragazzi. Eh? Speriamo bene. <laughs> Cos'è la caccia selvaggia? Well, that settles the question of his imperial majesty's whereabouts. Ah, is he aimed to conquer Skellige? But he, he knows, those are my friends. He wishes to grant you the Isles, with Sintra and the rest of the Empire. Is that so? The Emperor will have to help us fight the hunt. Avni just found Frangilla Vigo. We must hurry and find the Sunstone. Seems we've plenty to do in Skellige after that. Fringilla Vigo. We need her here. Hmm. Now we'll sit. Can you teleport me onto a mirror? So Not a chance. It's better shielded than the Emperor's alcove. Though we could try to force our way through. We need Fringilla in one piece. I'll get on the Emperor's ship myself. You plan to swim? With swords on your back? You'll get shot up like a sitting duck before you can say the white flame dance. Yeah, no. Don't panic. He'll find a way. Make your approach by night. You'll stand a better chance then. And once you're on board, show his Imperial Majesty this letter. Hand it to him directly. We should remind him what he promised. What he'll get in return. Out there. At the moment, we don't even know what the Sunstone is. It was created so the mountain elves could summon the vessels of the ML. Now it merely serves as a symbol of a lost opportunity to unite the two tribes. Truly? Can all of you be unfamiliar with the story of Galban and Dillion of the White Fleet? Cioè dici, sappiamo anche noi. Sappiamo un po'. Please, absolutely love elven legends. Gelban was a sage of the Elder Elves. He fell in love with an Enshe elf, Dillion. Yet, she spurned him. Ahem, that was a jest on Geralt's part. Too late. Ah, ora saprò davvero. On the day the White Fleet was to set sail, Gelban gave Dillion a gift. The Sunstone. He believed Dillion's heart would soften in time. Once her longing for him burgeoned, she was to use the Sunstone. Though worlds away, he would return for her. Sounds promising. Let's just hope this Sunstone proves more useful to us than it did to that elf woman. Ah, bear. The Sunstone's in Skellige? How do we know that? From legends. Elven ones. It lies where the White Fleet landed centuries ago. Meaning anywhere on any one of the Isles. Splendid. Ermion, I'll talk to him. Know where he is? I'll ask around the port. Croc's longships are moored there. 
Andiamo, va. I'm off. Good luck. Allora, andiamo da Ermellino, da Crack e poi da Ermellino. Wolf, did you see? The black dogs in their rickety tubs. They bay at our gates, seek to strike fear in our hearts. Saw them all. Where's Ermine? Went to see Lugas. An uncrate on the throne remains a thorn in his ass. Now he's seen the black ones, it pricks him even harder. The druid's gone to reason with the dim-witted knob. Think I'll join Ermian. Need to talk to him. Go. And when you see that bloody twit Lugas, be sure and tell him... Uh, best not. The druid knows what to say. Farewell. I'll not kneel before an oncrite. Never. That clear to you? You prefer to aid the black ones? I'd sooner aid the rights of bleeding Moorhog than let Crack rule all Skelliger. And your men, what do they say? Will they follow you when the Yarls call you a traitor? This here is my land, Druid. Watch your words. Would you be king by Nilfgaard's grace? That's your bark before you bite. Did Crack send you here for my head? Well then go ahead! Try to take it! Get him! Oh, che palle. a prenderti porca puttana a due ce ne sono bravo eh? vermellino si sono caduto da qua a dentro cazzo andato ok i see no row can occur in Skellige without your participation. Lame and inaccurate, Ermian. Seems to me I've missed quite a few. The blood of Crack's blood sits upon the throne, and that is your doing. I'm afraid you've ignited a small civil war. For ages, men had shed each other's blood in the quest for Skellige's crown. Politics as usual, just a difference of degree. Yet the bloody feast at Kertrolda was different. It was dishonorable, treacherous, needed investigation. More witcher's work. Work that culminated with the crowning of the Isle's new queen. So, Clan Drummond will attack sooner than we expected, it seems. Thought Croc sent you to negotiate an agreement with Lugas. <laughs> An agreement? Only Krach believes such a thing possible at this stage. You mean I didn't actually ruin things for you? Not this time. Lugas' death stands to change a great deal. His cousin, who will now be named Jarl, is a weak commander. Stupid. This war will start soon, and even sooner. But why have you returned to Skellige? Listen, Ermian. Know anything about the Sunstone? Legends place it somewhere in Skellige. The Mask of Ulber is first, now the Sunstone. Monsters may rest easy. <laughs> You've become a treasure hunter. I've never found the Enshi Elves interesting. But there's a Skald, Avid. He could help you. Once told me of some inaccessible caverns or ruins or some such. Where will I find him? Today? 
in Arambjorn, doubtless. You might also ask the pearl divers, Erling and Matthias Fishlung. Of late, they hunt near the tip of the bay, eastern end. Ah, there. Thanks for your help. One thing, Geralt. These caves are ruins. Matthias and Erling's ancestors would have looted them bare centuries ago were they not protected by some magic barrier. Take a sorceress with you. You must have brought at least one along. Oh, gaggle this time. Uh, God's protect us. <laughs> not now. Oh, lo sta facendo. Watching for Nilfgaard's fleet. Fleet? Oh, hey, they mentioned something. They had more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. Been waiting for this my whole life. What's this whale about? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't happen to mention a curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together. And you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing too. Elsewise it have plundered it long ago like all the others. Sorry. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Writing a historical treatise on the Enshe Elves, under Ermian's tutelage. Ermian? Man never cared a whit about the Elves. Ah. I've seen through you, you can either. Cut me the bits if you like, I'll no, the die. <sighs> Ho sbagliato, che stupido. Look, Erling, told you we wasn't done for the day. Didn't even have to fish this one out. You daft. Can't you see he's a witcher? What's a witcher doing here? Uh, what was it? Run out of pearls. Not your concern. What the sea gives, we take. Seems she's a reluctant giver. Hey, I could use a better knife, but a few hours and their fingers are swollen. Listen, heard you know a thing or two about elven ruins in Skellige. Who says? Ermian. Hmm. You'll not tell him what you saw today, will you? Depends. Elven ruins, you say? What you want to know? Druid mentioned some cavern you've never been able to enter. Where is it? East of Kertrold, in a cove you can only reach from the sea. But what you exactly... Is that? He don't know. Oh, man. Garment or a cold of the... Going 
hiding somewhere. Siri says there's a site in Skelliger we must examine. Avalok's clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together, Avalok mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something. And he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? So what? Wanna just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikarog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Beh ragazzi, allora, per il momento la ricerca della pietra del sole è accantonata e andremo a esplorare questo laboratorio di Avalak nel prossimo video. Per questo è tutto, spero che vi sia piaciuto, un saluto e al prossimo video di The Witcher 3.